Unit 5 Safety and First Aid Chapter 11 Safety and First Aid Important Terms Antiseptic A substance that helps to prevent infection in wounds by killing bacteria. Hazards Danger Risk Tip To strike lightly Sterile Free from germs Gone Piece of medicated cloth Sling Rope or strap for carrying Ointment Medicated cream Water First aid We all need help at times in our lives. We all meet with accidents now and then and we all get hurt. When we are injured or suddenly unwell, we want someone to help us. But he must be someone who knows what to do. First aid is all about helping people in situations like this. First aid is help given to a person who has been hurt or is suddenly taken ill. First aid are the steps taken before a medical help arrives. It can sometimes save a person's life, but more often it is the help given during the course of an everyday accident or illness. Have you ever seen someone fall over and hurt his or her leg? Have you seen someone who has been very ill? Have you ever been near an accident site? Imagine being able to help in any one of these situations. That is what first aid is all about. First aid is important not only because it can save lives but also it can help you to do a lot more. You can stop dangers. You can help someone who has had an accident. You can help someone who has suddenly become ill. You can get help in an emergency. You can help someone who is very upset. What do you need to know? Remember, at all times, stay calm. Check whether the area is safe. Think before you do anything. Talk to the person you are helping. Look for an adult to help. Keep safe when helping others. Look and listen for danger. Check for hazards to keep yourself and others safe. Get help. If you need an ambulance, call 102. Tell the operator about 1. Where you are 2. Who was hurt 3. What has happened If someone has a burn, cool the bird under running water for at least 10 minutes. You can also apply ice cubes over the burnt area. Apply an antiseptic like burnol. Inform an adult about the accident. If the bird is bad or if it is a child who is burnt, call an ambulance immediately. If someone has a bleeding nose, during summers, bleeding from the nose is a very common problem among children. In case of bleeding nose, sit up straight. Lean your head forward. Pinch the soft part of the nose 10 minutes. Prepare an ice pack by wrapping crushed ice cubes in clothes. Apply the ice pack on the patient's nose. This will reduce bleeding. If someone is choking, hit the person firmly on the back up to 5 times. Check the mouth. If someone is unconscious and you need to check whether he or she is breathing, gently tip the person's head backwards to open the airways. Push, push his or her head back and listen and feel for breath. If someone is unconscious and breathing, turn him or her on his or her side. Tip their head back. If someone has a broken bone, any break or crack in the bone is called fracture. The fractured bone causes a lot of pain. The affected area swells up. Follow these steps of first aid in case of a fracture. Tell the person to keep the injured part still. Support it to stop it moving. Use hands, clothes or cushions. If the fracture is in the hand, make a sling using a piece of cloth or bandage. The sling gives support to the arm. If the patient has to be moved, he should be carried on a stretcher. Take the patient to a doctor. In case of sprain, sometimes joints such as ankle get twisted and swell up. The tissue around the twisted joint are damaged. This is called sprain. In case of sprain, take these steps. Apply ice pack over the affected area. Rub ointments like move or relaxer over the sprain joint two or three times a day. Wrap the cream bandage around the sprain joint after rubbing the ointment. In case of cuts and wounds, 
Wash your hands before giving first aid to an injured person. Try to remove all the dirt from the wound with the help of small pads of cotton sold in Dettol or Savlon. Cover the wound with a clean cotton dressing to stop the bleeding. Press on the point where the blood is coming from and keep on pressing it. Factors go. In case of a deep cut, make a thick pad of sterilized gauze and press it over the wound. If the bleeding does not stop, use a tight bandage called tourniquet. In case of animal bites, the saliva of animals such as dogs, cats and monkeys contain viruses of a very dangerous disease called rabies. When these animals bite someone, the viruses enter the victim's body through the animal's saliva. It is very important to treat animal bites immediately. Wash the wound with the help of soap and water. Apply antiseptic on the wound. This wound prevents infection. Take the victim to the doctor immediately. The doctor may give anti-rabies injections to him or her. In case of snake bites, tie a bandage just above the bite to stop the flow of blood to the heart and brain. Do not move the victim. Any kind of movement will force the poison to spread faster in the victim's body. Try to get the poison out from the wound as quickly as may be possible. Consult the doctor immediately for anti-venom injection. Fire safety Fire is very useful to human life, but if not handled properly, it can be very dangerous. Even a small fire in the house can spread quickly and cause great damage. We can control all types of fires either by cutting off the air supply or by reducing the temperature of the burning material. Fire extinguishers are the devices that put out fires. They contain carbon dioxide gas or foam. The gas or foam surrounds the fire and puts it off by cutting off the air oxygen supply. For petrol and kerosene oil fire, throw sand to cut off the air supply. Water should never be used in this case. This is because petrol is lighter than water so it floats on it. For electric fire, switch off the electricity main switch when the fire is caused by an electric short circuit. Throw sand on the fire. Never throw water over the fire caused by electricity since water is a good conductor of electricity and one may get an electric shock. Teachers note. Discuss with the students the procedure of giving first aid if there is a minor accident on the road. Fact 5. While giving first aid, take care of the following. 1. Avoid direct contact with body fluids and blood whenever possible. 2. Wear protective clothing such as disposable gloves to cover any cuts, scraps or skin conditions you may have. 3. Wash your hands with soap and water immediately after giving first aid. Let's summarize. 1. We all need help at times in our lives. 2. First aid is the immediate help given to a needy person. 3. First aid can sometimes save a person's life. 4. Always stay calm in case of emergency. 5. Apply antiseptic like vernal in case of burns. 6. Any break or crack in the bone is called fracture. 7. Damage of tissue around the twisted joint is called sprain. 8. Bite of animals like dogs and cats can cause rabies.